Hey guys, one of the most important tips I can give you uh, if you're new to fly fishing here at Lee's Ferry or you're just new to fly fishing in general uh, is you need to use split shot here. You need to get the flies, uh, your rig down to where the fish are and invariably they're at the bottom or close to the bottom. And uh, they're not all that far out so you really don't have to cast that far out but you need to get them down. Um, I usually start off with what they call size B, BB. Uh, not a BB, but a size B. I'll show you another screenshot of what they look like and uh, the brand I use. And then um, I just start adding more split shots until I start hit the, hooking up. But I add like little micro shots. And I'll show you some of those too. And um, it, it, it makes all the difference. I mean, I've met guys down here uh, who are competent fly fishers, but they've never fished here before and they just thought they didn't need to use split shot. And I met one dude um, fishing all day, hadn't caught a damn thing. And he sat up next to me and I said, are you using a split shot? He said, no. I said, dude, you got to put some on. Boom. First drift after he put some split shot on. Of course, he gave me the thumbs up, which is cool. But that's what made the difference. And another thing you need to do here, guys, is you need to periodically check your rig. Uh, because you are using split shot and you are getting it down near the bottom. So uh, your flies are going to catch some moss, rock snot, whatever you want to call it. And the fish won't take it if that... Uh, you know, biomass is on the fly, so you need to check them periodically. I usually do it every five or six drifts. If I feel like I got, I hook bottom, um, I'll probably pull in and, and see, clean it off, and invariably there is some shit on there. So you need to remove that, uh, again, the fish will not uh, take your fly with that stuff on. As far as placement of the split shot, I usually put it about 15 inches above the, uh, the first fly in a two fly rig, and that usually works pretty well. You can put it up a little bit higher too. Hey guys, um, I just want to show you a typical rig I use here at the walk-in. You got a uh, size, I guess it's size 12, San Juan Worm Red, and then I got a laser midge on the bottom. I guess that's about a size 18. I'll put up another screenshot of a close-up so you can see it exactly. And then I end up usually putting, you know, split shot about 15 inches above the attractor fly, uh, which in this case is the uh, San Juan Worm. And, um, you know, the important thing here is you got to keep uh, rotating flies till you start hooking up. Um, I don't try to, I generally don't, I generally don't stick with the same flies if I'm not getting hip, hook, I'm not hooking up uh, pretty actively. But, uh, you know, so you're going to have different sizes, different colors. I mean, your midges come in, Jesus, there must be 15 different, you know, zebra midge colors. And uh, uh, they all work invariably at some point, but you just have to find out what the right combination is. And keep going. I also use a uh, one of those paste on indicators. Uh, some guys don't like them. I like them. It works for me. I've been using it for so, so many different years. That just kind of used to the uh, the action on it. And, and just, any little bump on it, I can just see, and it, it works for me. So I just keep using them. And the fishing today has been a little bit slow. I mean, we had some really unstable weather here yesterday. It was snowing above 6,000 feet. Um, you know, a little rain and, you know, not really windy, but it was real, it was much colder. Uh, today, finally, we're getting some sunshine on the water and you can see a little bit of midge activity, but right so far it's been really slow, but uh, you never know here. The fishing can turn on any minute. Um, you just got to stick it out or come back later or move, in which case I'm going to do right now. I, I fished this spot for about an hour and a half now with uh, really no results, so time to move, man.